Hello everyone, welcome back to Battle Brothers, and welcome back to the Tavern of Wolfenstein. So, on the left, on the left hand side of the screen, there's this rumor section, which I never actually pay for because they pretty much just always give you like a free one as soon as you enter a town, I think. There's a place called Greedy Hearts Hideout on, on the hide to the, I mean on the hills to the west of here. Most people know about it, I think. But a few would venture there. But a f but few would venture there. Yeah, okay, well, I mean, that's not the most interesting rumor. A few of these actually name hireable NPCs. And when I say hireable, I mean, like, there have been... This guy has actually been... Yeah, this guy actually has been named, I believe, Erhard the Lone Wolf. Uh, apparently, he's... It could be him, it could be Earnhardt too. It's, they're really similar names. But uh, it mentioned that he was a really good jousting champion. So in my mind, that's like, okay, so does that mean this guy actually has really good stats? Is that what that means? Or is it there for no reason? I don't know. But I think that's how we're gonna hire our next person. Whenever there's a tavern in town, I'll stop here and then see if there's like anything to really see, I guess. Uh, 25 gold adds up. Right now, I don't really want to do that because we need to actually spend gold on, on tools and supplies because we're low pretty heavily. Thankfully, we're mostly repaired for the most part. I'm not going to buy more beer because everyone's still kind of good on beer, I feel like. And I don't really want to actually sell anything because, well, we don't really get good deals here, as crazy as that might seem. Hmm. I'll be looking at the price of this light crossbow. If it goes uh, over 76, that's where we'll be selling this stuff at next. Now, buying something. Uh, their prices are still obnoxiously high. Like, what is this? It's nearly 700 gold for a basic male shirt. Nuh-uh. No thanks. So, same goes for Weaponsmith. And that's pretty much it. We'll just leave. Um, so, yeah. I think... Huh, no, let's first go to Coppledorf and see if, there, if there's any contracts there. If there's not, let's also see if these guys are still camping out here. Nope, doesn't look like it. They left, okay. I wonder if they were just bugged and now now that we restart the game, restarted the game anyways. They're fixed now, what? Oh, what? Fiction recruit comes into your tent and shows off an old wound. He speaks excitedly. Is that a miracle or what? The injury is healed almost completely. You tell the man that he's made of hardier things and the gods have nothing to do with it. He nods. Yeah, I know, but it'd be, it would be nice if they were looking out for me too. Just in case. All right. Well, I'm into that, Fiction. Sweet, so Fiction can go back in the front line. That's good because we were not, we were, well, not at 12 people, now we are. So, Kite Shields have been really killing my men's fatigue, like, severely. So, oh yeah, right. So Henry is actually injured with a, an injured kneecap. It's like a severe, it's a more, it's a more severe version of the, uh, the, the maimed foot, which is kind of weird, but okay. So less initiative, that's fine. Two additional action points per tile move. That really sucks, but he has a weapon that it can attack from, well, two spaces. So that doesn't affect him as much. I'm pretty sure he's bad at... Yeah, he's... Wait, no, that's Nikolai. Yeah, he's not great at ranged. So, not even going to consider that, really. My, my point being is that he can fight through it. 
All right, what do we got here? Uh, I don't really don't want to do this. Now what about this? Oh, we could potentially do this. Ludolf the Younger is uh, Ludolf the Younger is turning an apple in hand. He seems frustrated with it, almost as if he wished it were something else, like a valuable trinket, or perhaps just a taste of your fruit. Have you ever lost something you loved? You shrug and answer. There was this girl. The man shakes his head. No, not some woman. More important, because I have. Thieves stole the a thieves stole the ancient idol of fertility from me. How they managed to do it, how they managed to get beyond my guards is well beyond me. But I know if I set you on them, I'll be having what is rightfully mine back where it belongs. Isn't that right? Or have I been misled to the quality of your services? What's this work to you? What about a bit more? <laughs> what about a bit more? Okay, fine. 740. We could probably do that. Seven hundred forty for this? Okay, sure. It's literally seven hundred forty for a single fight, so now that I think about it. That might this might be a better value than what we've been doing for the past few weeks. So so tracks. If, they, if these are just bandits, we'll see. Oh my god, multiple tracks, tracks everywhere. I think this is bandit freaking city. Bandit city. Well, that sucks. Wait, are they fighting? Well, if they aren't fighting. Um, I know these two factions are actually hostile to each other. Oh, shoot. Okay, we gotta get away then. Uh, we can cut the thieves off. This is so annoying. The thieves are gonna be running along the, uh, bandit raider patrol route, but we could play that game too. Here we go, thieves. So what do we got? Uh, that's pro. That's this is probably gonna be a tough fight, actually. Cause I'm expecting what? If we're lucky, it's it's four and three. I doubt it. I really doubt it. It's probably five and two, which could also be decent. I say we just go for it, though. Like, we should be able to handle it. I think, anyways. I mean, I could be completely misjudging everything. Um, Shield Breaker's kind of in the middle. Fiction. I guess that's technically a Shield Breaker, but... Not quite. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's give it a shot. Come here, thief. Uh, come here, thieves. Rather, unless you really want to die, you should not go that way. Oh, okay. Bandits. Just as your employer had thought, they look they look scared. Presumably, understanding that Ludolf the the Younger's well-paid wrath is about to descend upon them. <laughs> Uh Okay. You know? Okay, good. I I'll take it. I actually did not really care for this. So we're fighting in the marsh. This is interesting. Very, very interesting. I don't... Can we use the tree? Like, these trees as cover? I'm not sure. And when I say cover, I mean, like, it, it basically... 
obscures shots a little bit, but that also works the other way around too. Kind of, anyways. The catch you starting in Wavering really sucks. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, give it a shot. Nice. Good start. I will definitely take that. Now, Mirson, can you follow that up? Hell yeah, you can. Well, it was still worth a shot, I think. He is actually in the marsh. That's very curious. Okay, there's fighting going on over there, obviously. For a second, I was wondering why are they going the other way, except it's because they actually can't move through us. We're technically not on the same side, so they have to go around us. It's a, it's a bit dumb, but we have to do the same thing for them, too. But that's okay, because I'm going to actually be treating this as, as a normal fight as much as possible. Rather than just like, you know, joint assault, freebie nonsense. Alright, Terrace, move here. Ooh, Grek. I am very wary of going into the swamp, though. So, I say we don't, actually. I say we just wait for them to come to us. If they all advanced below, that's also fine. So, let's see. Nikolai, 24, 20. Not too bad, as far as defense goes. Not, not the best, that's for certain. Yeah, I guess let's just have Terrace and Arlen get ready. Hmm. I guess we could start advancing south? I don't know. Fighting in the swamp is hard. Because I always have to, I always have to make the decision of do we just advance when they have like a worse position? Do we just wait until we have the better position? Because a few times we've tried to have a better position. Um, that did not work out in my favor, surprisingly. Lycus is having a heck of a bad time to move because of his, well, because of his permanent injury. Heck of a, heck of a hard time moving, rather. And the same thing goes for Henry, so that's fun. And Sly. The north side was like just the main people. Sir Hilmar, hello. So this is a different noble. Very, very interesting. Right, who do we shoot? Probably the marksman because he's the one that could actually... Oh yeah, I love experience. I was gonna say he's the one that could actually shoot at us, but not anymore. Dead people don't shoot. Who fired that? Why Sam? Wait, no. All right, okay, so. Oh, it was Mirson, because Nikechi's now up. Nikechi, follow up, please. No, come on, Nikechi. How do you even see that? Yeah, how do they even see that? Oh, the dogs must be granting the vision. That's the only thing I could think of. That's literally it. I mean, we could advance. Advancing with, uh... Ukrek. Not a terrible idea. Uh, well, that guy's out of there. I kind of wish their dogs went that way now. We might as well just advance, because it's like, 
I guess it's like, it's basically like an Imperial March. Oh, poor dog. Okay, that guy's actually on screen because his icon was lit up. So he's visible somewhere, just not to me. I guess that's the guy that probably got shot now that I think about it. Hello. Nikolai, we need him to get to the axe wielder just to break his shield or something. I don't think the south end needs this much assistance, but I don't know. The north end's getting nowhere real fast. Okay, swamp fighting, not my favorite. But it's also good because, like I said, you could definitely use the terrain to your advantage, especially if you are mid, don't have the best stats in the world. Okay, Mirson, can you hit? You cannot. Um, move downwards then. Nikechi probably can't shoot either. Damn it. But, ah, oh, come on. No one could shoot that guy, huh? Th that's real unfortunate. Oh, hell. Oh, that's a dead body. Dead body just flies out of the bush. How many archers were here? Were here, rather. A lot more than I thought. This is in an opponent's zone of control. Uh, vision, please? No. So, cost three. Mm. I'm not gonna go in. We have allies, there's no reason to rush in. I mean, Ukrek's strong, but I definitely don't want to risk him getting injured. Well, even injured, I suppose. If at all possible. God damn. I mean, guard. Gosh darn it. That guy got away. I think in the future I will try to limit allied joint assaults like this as much as possible. But to be perfectly honest, right now, any advantage that we can get is a good thing. Also very huge. I am kind of I am kind of glad that we had like a joint assault where the enemy force actually had a pretty I mean they had they had a joint group as well. I'm really glad I was able to have that pretty early on. And that was one of our better engagements. So I'm sure we'll see that again, just not right now. Right now it's just slaughter fest. Slaughterfest. Mirson, can you shoot? Oof, good hit. Okay, there was, okay, right, there was someone there, sweet. Lysander, come on, aim well. Oh man, nice shot. 
Now, Nakechi, can you just finish this guy off? Aww. Alright. Well, this guy got hit by something. So, I assume the enemy is right here, uh, here then. Still can't see anything. Really? That's a bit weird to me, but alright. Damn it. Oh, hello. So, there must be someone with a bill hook up there then, because how? what else could actually reach someone from two spaces away? Well, I guess a pike too, but... He might be able to hit us. Too bad Kale can't move a bit further. Or move before the retreater. If this guy starts swinging, then we know exactly where he, the enemy is at. Well, three against 36. I, we, I think we pretty much know who's gonna win here. Actually, maybe this dog could catch the retreater. I just realized we have dogs on our side. Uh, not that I cared too much. Okay, sweet. Henry can actually assist here. Not right now, but soon. Arlen, break off. Let's go north. We, we could go for a surround. Well, I guess technically that's going for a surround right now. And here we go. Oh, the dog probably can't reach him then. Too freaking bad. Can we shoot him? Nope. Nope. No. Man, reaching people's a pain. Especially around allied units. Nice. Oh my god. Well. That's... Whoops. Going that way was a bad idea. I don't know if the dog could actually catch that one. I hope he does, because I, I like him dead. Okay, well. Yeah, wait. So, this entirely depends on the dog actually catching him. Although, if there's an opportunity to run... I mean, let them go. I think I will take it. Just to speed this along. Otherwise, this takes a while. Yeah, it's over. Did we get... Okay, a decent amount of experience. Not, not the best. Lysander getting that 39, though. It's not bad. We get more when we actually are fighting, of course. Basic male shirt. I like that. Definitely like that. What's this? Okay. After the battle, a man emerges from a tree line, clapping his hands together. I paid those men a... Wait. That's really funny. Because this guy's offers less than what we actually are being paid right now. 
I paid the men. I paid those men a great deal of crowns, but it appears I should have paid you. And now, and now all these skeevy pants are dead. I can. You, you tell the man to get to the point before you run him through with the sword. He gestures to the artifact. I'll pay you 590 crowns for the item. It was what original. It was what it was. What originally was. Oh, it was what originally. What well, was originally owed to these thieves, plus a little more. What do you say? Ludolf the Younger won't take kindly to your betrayal, but that is a good, that is a good bit of money. No, that's not really a good bit of money at all. That's pretty terrible, actually. Why would I? That's not even profitable. Okay, whatever. Now we have this, so we could probably. It's probably six and three, right? This is a bit more risky. Hmm. Do we do it? Do we just run them through? Tempting. It's experience. It's also the possibility of us getting killed. Hopefully not, but you know, it's always there. A few bandit marksmen, some. It might be five and four. That could also be pretty bad. I say we do it. They're in the way. This is. I. Let's do it. Okay. A bunch of people without shields, so that's that's nice. If we can get an early kill, that would be fan frickin' tastic. A few of these people don't even have helmets. So I think we go after I think the long axe can attack from two distance. I mean two spaces. But this one also has a helmet, so let's go for the one without a helmet. Maybe we can get a kill. Probably not, but worth a shot. Freaking hell. Okay, so what do we got? It's... Hmm. This is gonna be tough, actually. Because it's, it's five and four, it looks like. Wait. No, no, wait. I'm miscounting. It's six and three. Mearson should definitely be here to actually shoot through meleers, which he could do. Hmm. This, this does worry me, actually. I don't know if Spearwall is actually the right call here because the people that are going up in front of Terrace's face are both people that can actually strike around Spearwall. Hmm. Well, we could always just meet them in combat right now, which I actually think that's our. I think that's what, that's what I'm going to do. Ah! Holy wow, a headshot? Wow, nice. Very, very freaking nice way to start that off. Ukrek, could you... Aw, oh, come on. Hmm. I just realized what we're up against down here. Uh, it's pretty bad. It's definitely not ideal, that's for certain. Let's... Oof. Damn it. Arlen should be okay. I just want to strike on this raider right now. <laughs> Damage, damage, can't complain. 
Kale, can you get a stun off, please? Yes! Huge. Fiction could strike around a shield, but this worries me a considerable amount, actually. I kind of don't want to move him in. Because I'd much rather... Let's see. I think Nikolai is better prepared to be flanked from both sides, whereas Kale is not. I mean... Fiction, rather. So with Fiction, I actually say we move here and shield wall. Because this at least... I mean, it makes a wall between us and the archers. Okay. move like is here on the next turn he can move in and strike I believe or I could just have him go after the archers which is really kind of funny but it's funny because he um, is injured Henry has an injury already less less fatigue huh let's not move him too far then I this is as far as we can get actually Like it, mm. we could engage. Except, I don't want. I don't want to pro. I don't want to pro. Blah. Provoke round swing if at all possible. That's not cool. Are you effing joking? Wow, that was not cool. That was pretty terrible, actually. Because we can't. Uh, that was really terrible. Damn. Could we actually just kill one for that? No, come on. Okay, all right, all right. Oh my God. Oof, okay, double miss, I'm into that. Not into that. Okay, that, that sucked. lot um that's pretty good all right Nikolai I say we start with attacking people that well we could also oof. let's go for people without Let's go for the wounded people, actually. So, him. Arland. Come on, hit him again. Yes! Oh, that was good. It get, uh, we strike around the shield, but that doesn't make that much of a difference, apparently. Yeah, that, that sucked. That also sucked. I think we... Well, no, let's... Hmm. Okay, that works. I was gonna say, let's go for a stun, but... Eh. Decided against it. Okay, Sly, can we just kill this guy? Awesome. Well, blood for blood. I'd like to know which one reloaded. I'm pretty sure they're both reloaded, so let's shoot the one that actually has better morale, but we missed, of course. Are you joking? Oh my god. Can you miss, please? What's with these people? Oh god, there goes our shield. Oh god. Oof. Thank goodness, they freaking missed, finally. 
Do a correct move in. Good hit. It's a bit weird that it's not the raiders that are giving us a problem so much as the archers now. Mm. Arlen lost his shield. Damn, did the long axe do that? Really? That's that's a bit crazy. The, the craziest, honestly. Arlen, just move in. So this is definitely a case of double shield whatever it's called. Um split. I want some of these archers dead at least. Because we need vengeance, in my opinion, anyways. 35, man, this guy is dodgy. That's, I, mm -mm. Yeah, damn it. Well, we hit. It's better than not hitting, obviously. By how much, I don't really know. Here we go again. Another frickin' barrage. Stop. I don't know why that guy's dancing around, but okay. Oh, because he's moving out of my range. Okay. Damn it. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Not good. Oof, Nikolai, that's really bad. He also doesn't, he doesn't have a shield to rely on. That's terrible, actually. Ukrek can't really help him. Um, mm, I think it's. I think we. I think we might lose Nikolai here. Unless Nikolai dodges twice. Wow. Okay, that's huge. Very huge. Now, we need to end this guy before he gets a chance to do that again. Um, Arlen probably can't catch him. Let's, let's advance toward these guys. I don't... I think they still need to reload. So we're pretty much letting that other one go scot-free, but... Alright, so... What do we do now? Um... There's not much of a point in using... Well, we can't even use shield. What's it called? Split. Oh, come on, Nikolai. You gotta do this or else you're just dead. Nice. That was... That was good. Fly head toward the archers, please. 52. Okay, solid hit. I hate these damn crossbowmen. Oh my god. I I think Lycus needs to hide. Can you shoot? No. Nope. Action four turns. Loose before him. Ukrek and Arland. Damn it. Well. Let's 
63. Come on, you need you need a hit again. Absolutely. Oh, huge. Now, God, this is so problematic. Like, how do we actually deal with these guys? I say we focus on one group. Lycus needs to hide, so Lycus is now hidden. Which means he's basically safe, because they can't see him. Oh my god, Nikolai barely survived. Yeah, get in the bush, Nikolai. Just stay there. Stay there, stay calm. Yep, that's right. I want this jerk very much dead. Very much dead. So Mir said shoot him. Oh, come on. Is he actually getting away? I will be severely disappointed if they actually get away. I, I hope Lysander survived. I don't think he... I don't know if he did. Mm, no. We're actually seeing this through, in my opinion. Damn it. Yeah, that was kind of pointless. Damn it. Ugh. Yeah, there's no way we can catch them. Disappointing. The, the damn archers just come, kill people, and leave. I really want to get war dogs just to handle archers. And armored ones, too. Very annoying. Aw, oh, man. Lysander died. Damn it. What a terrible way to go. He received... Really? So... The attack did 129 damage. That's... Well, that's very interesting that they could actually do that much damage. Very, very interesting. It was a crossbowman, obviously, so it goes through armor. Oh, God. My God. Well, Mearson's still alive. We lost our longbowman, so that's... That's very bad. Uh... We have... Do we have much wounded? Nikolai's not doing too good. I'm glad Nicholas, Nikolai survived, though, because I don't want anyone else to get killed, really. Uh, I'm going to ignore Terrace's ranged skill, and let's focus on melee and... I'm thinking fatigue, actually. Melee de No, his melee... Yeah, this is a good melee defense roll, so we'll go with that. That just sucks, because, like, no, no amount of preparation would be able to really help us from that. It just happens. Or save us from that, rather. I can't talk today. Sly leveled up, at least. That good melee rolls, always. Hit points and fatigue, I'd say. Sure. Or, what's his resolve roll? 
two. Yeah, hit points, fatigue, melee. I could have, I could, I could go underdog. Um, I don't think I do that though. I think let's go with shield expert, just because I'm pretty sure all spears are one-handed in this game. Hmm. Taunt could be interesting as well. A lot of things could be interesting here, actually. Colossus also could be interesting. actually do executioner so that happened yep Henry congratulations on your promotion to guard oh wait no this is scout whoops almost got preemptively promoted there I think with Henry, I'm actually going to try student, maybe. Well... He's a decent candidate for two-handed weapons, actually. I think we actually do crippling... No, let's do fast adaptation. And Terrace. Terrace, we can actually do... Terrace's fatigue is not the best in the world, but it's not any worse than others, I suppose. Hit points. Could really capitalize on the fact that he has, like, a lot of hit points. I'm doing Colossus again, yeah. Maybe it's because of the fact that there's permadeath in the game, but I feel like... Colossus is my go-to trait. Okay, well, an archer is dead. Nikechi has a lot of things to live up to now. That, yep, that was not the best outcome in the world, I would say. But we survived. That's that's really all that matters in the end. So, we definitely need to buy tools from somewhere. Maybe Koppeldorf? I think it was Hofschlag that had pretty decent prices, actually. When you enter Ludolf the Younger's room, there are a host of guards surrounding him. For a second, you think you stumbled upon a coop, but the men clear out, leaving behind dice and cards. Ludolf the, the Younger waves you in. Come, come. I just lost a good deal of crowns, Salsword. Perhaps you brought something to help ease my pain? You take out the ancient idol of fertility and hold it in your hand. Rather gingerly, the man takes it. Good. Very good. Your pay, of course, is here. He hands over a satchel of crowns before turning around in his chair. He seems too consumed by the artifact to say anything else. Yeah, that's kind of... That's not creepy at all. Let's see what this contract is. It's a tier one green skin thing. Um, hmm. No, that's not worth it in my opinion. 
so let's wait until dawn, which should be coming like now. Dawn. Okay. Oh, sweet. A new a new contract already. Let's see what this is first before we do anything. A man approaches from the side of the road. He's dressed in peasant's garb, yet is surrounded by yet is guarded by two well armed men. He announces himself as a councilman in the employ of Thilman the Steward, a local leader in Koppeldorf. You are asked to take audience with the man. Alright. Lawyers. Thilman the Steward's got his feet up on the table when you enter. He puts his hand behind he puts his hands behind his head, looking a little too relaxed for your taste. Good tidings, Captain. Let's say you take a leave from all that killing and dying. He raises an eyebrow at your response, which is precisely none at all. Huh. I figured you'd jump on that opportunity. No matter. It was a lie. I need you to take a certain package to to Kael the Yeah, to Kale the treasure. A fellow residing in Kielsing. I haven't been to Kielsing in a long time. This cargo has undoubtedly garnered some ill intentioned eyes, which is why which is why I need your men watching it for me. If you're interested, which you should be, let's talk numbers. Yeah, let's talk numbers. Let's talk not higher numbers than that. Let's talk a bit higher numbers than that. Okay, 340. I'll do it. Rainer, the, the learner. Interesting. I think the next man we, we actually recruit, because technically we're not low right now. Uh, damn it, I'm gonna have to buy tools from Wolfen uh, Wolfenstein. We could buy overpriced bread here. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Look at all these damned camps that are sprouting up everywhere. The South is not a friendly place whatsoever. No wonder, like, the Wolfenstein Company is always patrolling. I wonder if they clear out hideouts on their own. I don't, it doesn't feel like it, to be honest. Okay, first of all, let's go to the tavern. This sounds terrible. If you're ever visiting the tavern in Holness Land, in Holness Land, make sure to try their roasted goat. You'll never eat that good elsewhere. Okay. Well, that was interesting, I guess. But let's see if this guy named. Well, I guess. Huh. Heinrich, deserter, <laughs> lower, lower resolve. Uh. I'm really curious about the potential of those rumors. Very, very curious. We could buy a war dog here. I don't think we do that though. I don't really want to buy much of anything here, to be honest. But I do want to be repairing on the road. So, let's... What, where is Kielsing again? Right, way down there. Way, way down there. Look at us go through repair tools like they were nothing. Already at half... Man, what a freaking hostile area. What's our reputation at? Reputable. Good. I wonder if that like actually affects how much we're getting paid. Cuz if it does, good, that means we're we're more reliable than I thought. I guess we only failed one assignment, though. 
I mean, I turn contracts down all the time, but I I don't think that affects too much, or at least I hope it doesn't. If, the, if it does, that's unreasonable. I really hope Southmark is, like, actually a safe walk, because it would be so nice to just, like, not have to worry about something just for a little bit. Yep, so much for that. A few thugs, some raiders, so most likely five and two. I think we walk right by them. If they attack us, then they die for it. But... I'm not really that interested in pursuing them right now. Henry... He could... He could work out. Still. Probably. Hmm. Minus we can't take him bad on, under any, any... under any circumstance. I mean, not minus, uh, Nikolai. Actually, we could take Nikolai's armor now that I think about it. And not have to risk going into battle with, um, inferior armor at all. Yeah, why didn't I think of that? That's, that's a really good idea, actually. And I think the person that gets it is probably... Arland? No, it, it should be... Oh, I don't... Mm. Fiction? I mean, this, this really doesn't change fatigue that much. Or at all, for that matter. I mean, two, big deal. Henry probably could still fight, as crazy as that seems. If this guy... Okay, well, let's leave, him, let's leave them alone, then. If they leave me alone, I'll leave them alone. For now. Because I, I really just want to get my gold and get paid. Finally, you made it! Kale the treasurer standing there in the middle of the road, his hands clasped over, over his stomach, his slick grin on his cheeky face. Sellsword, I was not sure you'd make it. You lugged the cargo up and handed it over. Oh yeah, and why do you say that? The man takes the box and hands it over to a rogue man who quickly hurries away, hurries away with it, with it tucked under an arm. Kale the treasurer laughs and he, and as he hands you a, a satchel of crowns. The roads are rough these days, are they not? You, you understand he's making small talk. Anything to get your attention off the cargo you just handed over. Whatever. You got your pay. That's good enough for you. So yeah, repeat dialogue, of course, but that's what we have to work with, really. Now... Okay, tools are not cheap here. They are more expensive. That's backwards, but alright. Really, really backwards. Wow. Reinhardt of the temple. Interesting. Hmm. Trying to find peace in the land of ruin, Reinhardt became a monk. Always a fiery man, Reinhardt left the safety of, mon of monasteries to go out and right the world. Perhaps never really content with his life, it's, it's difficult to entirely know why someone like Reinhardt would join a band of mercenaries. Okay, well... Of the temple seems potentially potentially interesting, so let's let's see what that I mean let's see what the stats are first of all. Where are you, Reinhardt? Uh Well Yet someone else that could be a ranged user, but to be perfectly honest, I'm not that interested in having another ranged person around. I, 
mean, yeah, they could. Ugh. No, Reinhardt, sorry. We're going to dismiss him. Goblins need rooting out? Really? Uh, I don't think so. Because we're still not really in a position to be doing much of anything. What's this tier 3 assignment? Oh, shipment to Horn? Okay. Sure. I could I could definitely do that. Now this is very troubling, actually. Uh 300, 360 crowns in advance and another four hundred uh 1,440 when the job is done. Okay, it's a caravan mission. Horns way the hell out there. In that case, we definitely buy tools here. Let's buy some food. But let's just stock the heck up. Um, fish. Tools. I guess a bit more fish? Because this is going to be a long, long journey. We should have, in the, if we do get engaged, we should actually have people that are eligible to fight. I'm getting rid of uh, Reinhardt though, so that was a waste of gold, but still. Thanks for checking out the mercenary camp uh, company at least. Okay, now, really, there are they're on the road already. That's terribly unfortunate. Minus is ready to fight, though, so that's the good news. The bad news is... Minus doesn't really have any armor. That'd be really stupid to just send him into battle without armor. Padded leather for now, I suppose. I really want these these suits of our um, these male shirts repaired. So I guess I can just mark them for repair right now. Well, we'll see. We'll see if these guys actually attack me. Nope. Okay. If they did attack me, that would surprise me quite a bit. Well. We have zero control over if we get attacked or not. So, here's hoping we don't. Crotch Dwarf can't do anything here. Cannot do anything here, so just gonna sit back and enjoy the caravan ride. Just sit back. See how this goes. I, I guess this is kind of nice because this is one of the few times where I could actually just like let the game play itself, essentially. The nice thing is that there are other supply caravans on this road. So they kind of deter attackers. Sometimes attackers don't care and they just attack anyways. Man, if we actually make it, this is going to be a lot of gold. We got past the south, which has all these this all this nonsense here. Felfest is kind of dangerous. Uh-oh, what's this? You find Mirson helping uh helping himself to a third helping of food. That's far too much and so you demand it be his last. Another bro another brother joins in mocking the man for his habits. The glutton, enraged, slams his food down and stands up. His stomach, however, sways at a different pace than the rest of him, and the, and the rather fattened man goes down in a, in a heap of flailing limbs. While the rest of the company has a laugh, you can't help but wonder if the seltzer really has gotten too fat. 
Well, that's actually more health, so that's okay. And considering all the nonsense that Mearson went through, like nearly getting killed, like he, he doesn't have a finger. Shoot. I hope they don't attack us. That's probably a winning fight, actually. Mini Bandit Raiders, that's scary on the other hand. Almost there, almost there to horn. If we actually make it without a single fight, that's pretty amazing. I think we did. I think we freaking did. Wow. Sweet. <laughs> well, the wagon train drives in the horn, each cart bumbling and tumbling their tall wheels over mouths of dried dirt. The caravan hands work to unload the cargo, a few of them fighting off a beggar or two. The leader of the train hands you a satchel, and that's about all he does. He's too busy with his work to say much to you. The silence is appreciated. Coordinated contracts, a tier three contract again. Huh. I don't say we do this, actually. Man, almost almost at 4,000 gold, huh? Hmm. I feel like we lost more reputation with other factions somehow. Kielsing likes us a lot, but we're not really going to interact with them at all, so that's not the greatest, I guess, at all. So that was sweet. That was a lot of that was a lot of doing nothing, but getting paid pretty much. Stol Stolberg never really, really liked us, so I mean, great. But I'm going here to see if we could pick up a dog, maybe a contract, maybe some maybe a rumor or two. But there's no tavern, so no. What is this contract? A straight back man walks toward you. He's got, he's got a scroll and a lifted arm, approaching you like a mess like a message board on stilts. He says nothing, merely extends his arm and you take the message as you've gestured to do. It reads that a local gnome man is looking for you and presumably your services. You thank the messenger, but he says nothing, simply turning and slip and stilting his way down the road. Okay, this is another kill everything mi uh, mission. Kind of into that. Uh, Sir Kudabert von Goswin takes a swig of wine and burps. He seems rather annoyed. I don't ordinarily ask mercenaries to do patrols for me, but most of my men are currently tied up elsewhere. It's a pretty simple task. Just go to Yederberg, then on to Koppeldorf, then to Koppeldorf, then return here within seven days. Along the way, slay every man or beast that'd be a danger to the people of these lands. But do be sure to collect their heads. I'll be paying you by the trophy, not by how many miles you walked. Hmm. Damn it. 80 crowns per head, still pretty good. Still pretty good. So, sure. I accept. And I think before we do that, we take a bit of a break because that's going to be a long, long mission. Sir Lancel? I'm pretty sure this is a different Sir Lancel. If it's not, that would be really weird. Um, but a freaking raider. Part warrior, part criminal. Ivor has made a good life as a raider, but one but one village ambushed his party on a raid, cutting down everyone but himself as he stole a stable horse and escaped certain doom. While a good fighter, Ivor is first and foremost loyal to loot. Yeah, I'm sure you are. I don't really want to recruit a raider, actually. Otto the Exerciser. Uh... Well, what? Being a quiet and grim man, Otto has the tendency to make other people feel uncomfortable around him, even afraid. 
For nights on end, he sat in Stolberg's pub, silently studying every patron like a bird of prey circling above. His crossbow never far away. It didn't sit well with the residents, but they didn't dare approach him. It is somewhat obvious that Otto is not easily scared, and he knows how to handle the crossbow. Nobody was therefore surprised as he approached a mercenary company that was hiring. Uh... I don't know if we actually hire these people. I like... I think we... I think, I think we spend money on equipment right now. But yeah, uh, I will do that off camera, and then when we're back, hopefully we will we'll be in a good position. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. 